What's up, eighth graders? All right, so um, I wanted to quick shoot this quick video to kind of explain Cami really fast to you. So please make sure you're watching and watch the whole thing so I don't stop halfway through. Um, so you're gonna open up your document, okay? And you're gonna see all these tasks, right? So check in, hopefully you did that. Hopefully you watch this video on the requirements of this week's um, playlist. Hopefully you've asked questions if you needed to. And then, so what you're going to do here is this is your standard deviation review activity. Above it, you should see, I don't have it uploaded yet, but above it, you should see this video that you're watching now. And then when you're done watching this, you're gonna click this. And it's going to open up something like this, all right? And so you should see open assignment with Cami. If you do not, all you have to do is open a new tab, type in um, Cami extension, and then you're going to click this first link here. It should say Google or chrome.google.com, came extension, PDF, and document annotation. So click on that. Make sure you're logged in with your school email, your school Gmail email, and then you should be able to add it as an extension, okay? It takes like two seconds. I'm not going to remove mine, but that's how you add it. Once you've added it, all you have to do is go back to Schoology and refresh your Schoology page, and it should pop up. All right, if it does not pop up, please contact me and I will help you as soon as possible, okay? Um, if it doesn't pop up and you can't open it with Cami, just skip this task for now until I can help you and then just move on to the other tasks, okay? But once you have this, all you have to do is open assignment with Cami. It'll pull it up. You do have to go through a bunch of steps saying, yes, authorize with Google Chrome. You have to sign in with Google. Um, make sure you're always using your Google um, Gmail. And then finally, you will get to the point where you can open it up, okay? And so the cool thing is, is that let's say you get busy and you don't complete this and you log off. It'll save your work, right? And so what you're going to do is you have all these tools over here, but really the only one you need is the text box um, tool. You just click on that. You can change your font and your color. And then what you're going to do is you can just type in stuff. So I typed in Mr. Ross, but you can type in period, I don't know, two, right? And it'll save it automatically, okay? And so what this activity is, is that we're just reviewing standard deviation. And you have eight questions total, but one, two, and three, and four are just you finding the mean, the variance. Remember, the variance is the number after you find, um, you square all of your numbers of the differences, your variance is that new mean of that third column that we looked at, right? And then you find that standard deviation after you square root the variance. Um, but I went ahead and did one problem showing you what this graphic organizer is used for. Um, I only had one, two, three, four, five numbers, so I only needed to use five spots on this one, right? So you might not need to use all these extra steps. So if we scroll down, I have question one, your graphic organizer, question two, question three, and question four. And so you can actually go right in here, right? And type in 77, type in 96, type in 87, type in 81, right? So let's go down here, X4, 81. All right, and this is for you to type in your work. So now you don't have to take a picture of your work. It's all right here and ready for you, okay? If we scroll down more, um, you have your questions um, for down here to kind of dive a little bit deeper with standard deviation. Um, you have calculate standard deviation for Joe, um, calculate standard deviation for Gina, Joe, Gina. Um, point score standard deviation, points allowed standard deviation, team A. Point score, standard deviation, points allowed, standard deviation, team B, team A, point scored, team A, points allowed, team B, point scored, team B, points allowed, okay? So just fill in all these blank spaces. Um, that's your work showing, and then it should be pretty fast activity because you really are just plugging in numbers, and then you can just do the step-by-steps in each part, okay? So that's all you do once you've completed this assignment. Up here, it's going to say turn in. You just click turn in, and then it will automatically submit up on Schoology, which is pretty great for me. So I will automatically get your assignment. If you have any questions, please reach out. But that's all um, for how you use Cami, and it should be pretty friendly use or user friendly. So reach out if you have any questions. Have a great day, you guys.